it's me, Vicstar123, with Team Trench Gun, another impressive, if I'm allowed to say so, World at War gameplay. This was another one of those games where I was celebrating before it was even finished. Basically, we'd been going for the Trench Gun gameplay for quite a while, and I was finding it really hard. I wasn't getting the hit detection I needed, I didn't have that accuracy I needed, and I discovered only before this game that the reason that was happening was because the trench gun has a very, very small bullet spread, and that requires a lot more hip firing accuracy than you need with other shotguns on other Call of Duty games, especially after we'd been using the double barrel shotgun. So this game, I finally found something that worked for me. So the tactic I employed was a l low risk tactic. So what I was doing was I was sneaking around and getting as close to the enemies as I could before engaging them. Because in a map like this, there is potential to get really close and personal with these guys getting up behind them before they even have a chance to react. And if that wasn't in the context of Call of Duty, that would be really weird. <laughs> so what I was doing was always taking the safe options. As you saw here, I run around the barrels and then sneak up to here and go for the jump shot. So I was sneaking up towards them, never engaging them directly. As you see here, I'm always coming around behind them, putting cover between me and them, which I can duck behind. And with shotguns, that is a lethal tactic, just always. I don't think there were many one-on-one -on -one engagements in this game where we were both looking at each other. It was 90% of the time, me, behind them. Here, look. That is the best way to play um, with shotguns because your range is limited but your close range damage is so massive that if you can get close to your opponents they haven't got any chance look at this often you'll find in a building like that there was one guy there and he was watching down past the ladders he didn't see me I could sneak up next to him and shoot him and then his teammate was still looking out of the window completely unaware because he thought that his teammate was watching his back. So if you're rushing a building, if you can take out one of the people watching one of the doorways, as soon as you've done that, get straight into that building and start picking up your kills. Now here, again, there was scope for a massive amount of kills, but the trench gun started to become inconsistent for me. But that is my number one tip for using a shotgun. Get up close and personal with them, and if it gets too much, just run like it is here. I was waiting for them to come to me, then I saw a massive spawn there, four of them. I wanted to go in for the kill feed, and that was a big mistake. I almost pulled it off. If I hadn't have hit marked that shot, that could have been a really nice play. So like I say, strategy when you're using shotguns is more important than anything else. Now unfortunately here, this guy had smoke cover from some sort of grenade, and which means I couldn't quite see him and take the shot. But as you see, I see a guy there, he's straight over there, I'm not going to run straight at him, I'm going to stick to the edge of the map, stick to cover, get inside. Here I realise I don't know where I'm going and I need to head up. But never ever heading directly at the people I'm going for, just sneaking towards them. And a lot of the time, even the people I've kind of spotted, I'm like, right, I've seen that guy, I'll head towards him. On the way, I'll get completely distracted by other people and go around and get them. But it's just the principle of not running directly into them. I could run round there, like the whole of my team, JDD Demise, as you see there, pushing around. But I went inside the building to climb up and then got this sideways ambush on all of these guys, which meant really easy kills. Now this guy, again, too far away. I wasn't going to make the run towards him, so I stick behind cover and get out of there, picking up this guy above me for the final kill. So I think there was a lot more strategy in that gameplay than I usually employ. It was a rush tactic, but I definitely had some thought behind it. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and favourite. Oh, and also, guys, if you agreed or disagreed with anything I said, then put it down below as a comment, and I'll look forward to reading.